Let's go. The Ace and TJ family presents Unfiltered, Uncensored, and Uninterrupted. Well, almost. Right here. Let's go. This is Share Funny from the Ace and TJ Show Plus. Plus. Ace and TJ Show Plus. Plus. So, what's up? Hmm. What? <laughs> what? It is, yo. Yeah. Ace should be back tomorrow. Um, the uh, services for his mom and I were Saturday. And um, so he should be back tomorrow. And then when is he leaving on his bike biking Friday. trip? Friday. Okay. So um, I don't know for sure, but I'm guessing that he didn't have a whole lot of uh, bike training time over the past several days while he's been in Louisiana for his mom's death. He may have taken so it with him. It may be hurting. <coughs> he may be hurting on that road to Birmingham. He might be. I hope not. I think he'll be all right. I mean, he did that 17 miles to my house. He wasn't even mm-hmm. breathing hard. Not yeah. sweating. He's handling it way better than I thought. Mm, me would. too. Yeah. I'm actually I'm surprised. No. I not thought me. he was I mean, going to like suck at it. No, he's actually knew, really good. I knew how, how good a shape he's in. <laughs> I guess he's I been, didn't. Yeah, that's right. Because, you know, you always think the negative about us. That's not true. Yeah, you do. You always think negatively about us first. Alexis, and by us, I mean white people. Oh, well, stop it. White <laughs> Am I right, Briggins? Am You're I not right? right? You're not right. She hates white people. Mm-hmm. I love white people. I love y'all. I hang out with you guys every single day. Well, uh, is that hanging out? Yeah, I'm us? hanging out with my my buds. Okay. My bros. <laughs> my bros. <laughs> my briskies. Exactly. Mm-hmm. She wants to hang out with you more. I do, and he just doesn't want it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um... That should show you how much I love white people. Uh, by what? <laughs> what? That I want to hang out with you so bad and eat your food the only and thing learn you, you from just you. Just want to come be on that on my cooking show. I don't even to have attention. to be on the cooking show. You don't even put me that, on there. You just want that attention. No, I want the food. I don't care about the oh, attention. Please. <laughs> I get attention anyways. Mm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Do you know who you talk to? You know how much attention I be getting. <laughs> All of it. Mm-hmm. So uh, we were talking about. In the show today, the regular old morning show, uh, that Alexis has joined a, a dating app, and what what it, does it have a section on there about what you're looking for, what kind of guys that you look for? I don't know any. I, they didn't have dating apps um, when I was single. No, when I was setting it up, it was just asking like your political standings, if you want kids, if you're open to kids, if you have kids, if you're looking for a long term relationship, short term relationship, or just mm-hmm. figuring out your dating goals. Okay, but, so what did you put on those? Um, I said I'm not political because I'm not. Uh-huh. Um, I said, <laughs> why are you laughing? <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> if someone's asking questions about politics, I wouldn't know how to know, answer but, it. But politics is not just who's running for office or who voted for what or anything. Like but politics I'm not political a, at all. It's like where you yeah. stand on things. Yeah, and I don't really stand anywhere on things. I ain't standing okay. at all. I ain't standing for shit. Okay. <laughs> well, you got to stand for something. You'll fall for anything. Um, I don't know enough to put something on there. But all I'm saying is that you're right. Okay. But everybody is political. Yeah. By the way they live their lives. Because everything is political. But if I feel like if someone was searching through, for for example, like if a guy was looking through and, and he's into politics, I wouldn't want him to think that I'm into politics in some way yeah. based off of that. Because then he would ask me questions. I'm like, I don't know. Right, right. Um, but no, it doesn't ask you specifics as, as far as. D- does it ask you your hobbies, things like that that you enjoy? <laughs> uh, Yeah, there's prompts that you can choose from, mm-hmm. which questions, and then put the answers in. Okay, did you do all of that or no? Mm-hmm. What did you put? Um, well, when Other it, than smoke a... <laughs> what, what it, was it? Smoke a fat-ass blunt. Yeah, okay. smoke a fat-ass blunt. <laughs> um, I put on... The <laughs> right, so <laughs> it, said, what are, it said, what are your... What was it? What are the simple pleasures in life? Your and that is my biggest simple pleasure in life is sm- smoking weed. A fat-ass blunt. Yeah, that's one of my simple <laughs> pleasures <laughs> in life. Now, okay, Riggins... Back when you were, uh, um, you know, a younger fella and you were um, on the weed, if you saw that on a dating profile that some worded that way, would that make you think y'all were kindred spirits or would you would you think we're not we're not the same type of 
recreational user or whatnot. I don't know. I'm if you to saw think. my pictures and yeah, you saw, no, and I, then you saw that, what would you think? I, oh my god! <laughs> you saw my, my you pictures. saw my, my pictures. pictures and then yeah. saw that. No, you're right. I, I and I said your pictures are great, like perfect pictures, mm. cute. One of them was sexy, and then one the video with the cat. I'm like, mm-hmm. there's a girl after my own heart right there. Uh, but yeah, the language I thought was a little aggressive. So this is my this is my this is my thing, and you tell me if I'm wrong. Since you've been on dating sites before, and I have not. She's not looking for a guy like me. So. Yeah. But no, this is my thought process with that. Why am I going to try to pretend that I'm something that I'm not? But you don't. Have, that's not pretending like you're something you're not. If you just basically said. Um, um, I like, you know, a different way of saying that you like to smoke weed rather than a fat ass blunt. But that's how I would say it in real life. Mm. If I just met a guy, I'd be like, yeah, he would be like, what are you, what are your pleasures in life? And I would have mm-hmm. been like smoking a fat ass blunt. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's who I am. I think like, that's what it. you're supposed to do on dating apps is be yourself. <laughs> no, God. I mean, yeah. if we were all ourselves, nobody would talk to you. So then what's the point? I don't know. Mm. If you don't like it, then don't match with me. See, yeah, I really yeah, don't yeah, understand dating really apps. My fault. Okay, but no, but I was looking at it like if you're you got on the dating app because you were wanting to broaden your horizons of choices of men and all of that stuff. And I do want to do that, but mm-hmm. at the same time, I'm not gonna like my right. personality is who I am. Sure, I get it. So I if it. I meet a guy and he doesn't and, and I have to act a little bit more ladylike for him to like me, eventually that lady likeness is going to go out the window and then he's going to see who I really am. So mm-hmm. why not just be that person off the bat? Hmm. Um, it does. I just don't I don't think it's as big of a deal uh, against who you really are to um, yeah. to uh, dial it back one notch. <laughs> OK, so uh, how would you put it? <laughs> Like, because there's a different, yeah, I mean, it's, cause it's a different your... type of person who's who would say, uh, I like to, um, you know, whatever. I, I don't even know because I don't smoke weed all the time, but say somebody, I, like, I vape, yeah, you whatever, can soften it up a little yeah, bit rather than That's say me. fat ass blunt. Okay, so listen to this the okay. other thing about it is that it asks you, Are do you smoke? and it has a little marijuana leaf. So obviously, if I say yes, I'm smoking, it's going to match me up with people that also smoke, right? Right, but it's going to match you up with people who smoke fat ass blunts only, not people who who smoke <laughs> other like in that. marijuana in other forms. Yeah, you're making it seem like it's your yeah. whole identity. Like, like no, because it has you, other things on there. I said, what's your simple pleasure in life? I know, but like when uh, when you met with Adam and me that day uh, before we hired you at that restaurant for lunch, you were yourself, but you didn't say I smoke fat ass blunts. <laughs> Yeah, but I wasn't trying to build a romantic yeah. relationship with y'all. <laughs> mm. You're trying to get with me. You better smoke fat ass my, blunts. My okay? whole thing is, it asks, what's the most simple pleasure uh, in your life? That is a right. simple pleasure. Right. Is smoking a fat ass blunt? I don't know how else to put it. I don't like smoking a little ass blunt. I don't like smoking a skinny ass blunt. I like smoking a, a fat uh, ass blunt. This isn't a Dr. Seuss book. Yeah, I mean, here it is. Mm-hmm. And I also said along well, that, I said I like snacks. And binging oh. shows and TVs, those are my simple pleasures. Oh, I hate Oh snacks. my God, this girl likes snacks. Mm, <laughs> wow. <laughs> TV. I bet she likes to laugh, too. Uh, yeah. Okay, what should I put? Should I give you my phone, uh, Briggins, no, and then you no, can adjust? You know, <laughs> no, you, I mean, I'm asking for help, so if you guys no, think obviously that... Obviously, you're not, because, because <laughs> we've given you this one little tiny suggestion, and you're like, what? I do like to smoke fat-ass blunts. And you can come out with that about, you know, that you're, a, you're in the blunt-smoking community. Okay, so what should Later, I put instead? But you, but I'm just saying you, you're going to limit your if you're looking for more diverse, uh, wide group of, of guys, then you're you're going to narrow that down immediately by calling it a blunt that you smoke blunts. Okay, am so I, am I right? Because I'm not part of the drug I, culture, I, and I don't know <laughs> about the dating app culture, so that's why I'm asking. I don't know. I thought I was being very honest. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I yeah. guess that's not how I should be. I should lie. Well, on a first date, are, should you be totally honest? Oh, I'm 100% like, honest. I don't know that that's Cause a Because I'm not trying to waste my time. If you don't like who I am, then why should we go on another date? I mean, mm. I'm not going to go into a first date and immediately tell her about like my 
porn habits or something like that. There are certain <laughs> but things. That's who you can, are, Regan. That's, that's your pleasure. Am. That's how I that's am. That's your simple pleasure. I guess. But I would, you know, maybe again soften it up <laughs> yeah. a little bit. Okay. You know, there are ways to. And I'm open. So tell me, how would you have put it if you were me? I don't know. I yeah. I like. You know all the clever ways to say you like smoking weed. It's like, you know, I indul enjoy indulging in a little bit of the, you know, the herb or whatever. That's lame. Well, <laughs> I would much prefer that over. I like smoking fat ass. But like you I just come make... across like, uh, you know, the girl on Dr. Phil, like, catch me outside. You know, I don't know if I'm looking for all that shit. Yeah, but then when they see the rest of the things that I wrote, they're like, oh, but wait a minute. She journals and she's all about mental I, health. Yeah, wait a minute. That, that's why well, but I, I have that minute. on there. Yeah, but it's I didn't see any of that. It's, it's on like there. The, first, the second thing, what are you into? Smoke a fat Okay, ass well I'll just like, change shit. I'll just rearrange the order yeah, of the question. Yeah. Put that on like the fifth fucking page or something. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm trying to show that I'm a chameleon and that I have yeah. very many sides. That's you all. You are, but that's that's the not the first thing I That's think aggressive. of when I think of Alexis is like big weed smoker. Then you don't know me. And <laughs> you're right. Maybe I don't. <laughs> just kidding. I just did. I don't know. But I certainly don't think that's the best quality you have to put out, out there. I actually thought also that I was being like funny. Like it's funny yeah. to yeah, say it, it like okay, that. Okay, maybe. Yeah, maybe. I was trying <laughs> to be like funny. You should just put you like left hand cigarettes. But I tell you what, though, I think you're... Yeah, maybe I sound old, like an old no, guy. I think you're really on, on track with that other stuff, though, because I know when I was single, uh, I didn't care about hardly anything. The number one thing for me was finding a girl who journals. Yeah. That is, that's the hottest I'm gonna thing. I'm going to hit you in the face. Like, can I, can someone hand me something? But, you know, I do a lot of work with uh, wayward young men, and they always say, I just can't find a good woman who journals. Well, let me tell you, if you're journaling, you're very in tune with yourself. So, and if you, I uh, but I am going to tell you this. When you say, uh, I don't know, though, I don't, I don't know how, maybe the guys that in the age group you're looking for are different. But if I were looking at a dating site and a woman says she's into mental health, that might tell me that she's crazy to begin with, mm -hmm. that she's having to run around making sure that her mental health is in check because she's really? got too many squirrels in her head. See, this is too much. It's already stressing me out. Like, I want to delete well, this what app. What do I know? What do I know? I'm, I'm, I'm old as hell, so what do I know about it? We'll find out once she starts mm -hmm. telling us the kind of guy she's matched with. And you know what? Maybe, maybe, it, maybe I'm just, like, aging out and I'm, like, old and grumpy or whatever, but... I don't know. I'll tell you why. I, I feel like I didn't think about that. I can see what you guys are saying. I can hear it. I see it. I receive it. But you guys know me. I am very much Alexis no matter what. And so I thought if I'm going on a dating app to meet people rather than just having all these random conversations and a waste of time, this is who I am so that we they can weed me out and I can weed them out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Maybe. Well, but you're not going to find a meaningful relationship by the first date with somebody or something like that you've got to go through some of that process of is this the type of person that i want you're going to have to waste some time on some people yeah, before right. you find the one that that you want and the going on on the homework. dates has already given me anxiety no well mm -hmm. it can't it should be fun yeah, especially on the dating that's what makes the dating apps fun is that you skip all the awkward um ice breaking and things like that because you've already done it via the app so by the time you mm -hmm. meet them, you should know a couple interests. You know what they look like. There's no surprises. And yeah. then eventually you have a first date that can be fun because you get all that dumb shit out of the way. Or you meet them and say, I've, you know, I got 30 minutes. Exactly. You know, and then you go. By. So if you wasted 30 minutes over, you know, one drink or coffee or whatever, then you're, you're like, all right, no big deal. Yeah. Yeah. I think that um, what you just said about that, it's the opposite for me because to me, not doing all of that like the messaging back and forth and not knowing each other and all of that is more it's weird for me than meeting someone naturally organically and having a conversation well, with the, them in person what i'm mm -hmm. saying is the point of the app is to do that yeah so if if it's not your bag then you know yeah. what mm -hmm. do it the way you've been doing it but that's kind of the point of these apps is that you you break down some of those walls and then you it, it opens you up to having kind of fun do you have fun yeah. on your dates when you I go have, on yeah. them? Mm -hmm. Even if you never first, saw them again? I love a first date. Really? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. All right, hey, we got to we gotta take a break, and we'll, uh, we'll, we'll get more into this coming up, because we are going to find your man. From the Ace and TJ family. More, more next. 
If you want to sleep better and lose weight, then the product that you need is called Calatrin, or you can pronounce it Calatrin. Very easy for you to get. Just go to acetj.com slash weight loss. acetj.com slash weight loss for Calatrin. The Johnson Group Facility Services is a commercial cleaning company that focuses more on customer satisfaction than the bottom line because each customer works directly with the owners every step of the way. If you need any commercial cleaning, the Johnson Group can handle it. Get details at acetj.com slash clean. Hey, it's funny you'll share. The Ace and TJ family presents the Share Funny Podcast from the Ace and TJ Show. (sighs) I think we found out during the break there what one of the um, one of the little snags that Alexis is, is, we see her having is that she's a, it looks at everything from, as the extreme. So if we say you may not want to come right out on your profile of the dating site and say I smoke I love what I pleasure in life is smoking a, a fat ass blunt. Change the language of that a little bit. Now she says, because why am I going to pretend like I'm some kind of lady or something? I'm not a lady. People know I'm not a lady. So it's like you, by suggesting that she lighten the language on fat ass blunt smoking, that we're going to you know suggest she go to finishing school. Basically, that's you know? what it sounds like. You guys just want to change me completely. <laughs> You guys are basically telling me that who I am is mm-hmm. not worth a boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you guys. Appreciate it. It's not what we said. Basically, wow. that's what I heard. You're not going to get a man if you keep saying shit like that. <laughs> no, you'll find a guy, but it's yeah, maybe not the guy you want. The but what quality. if I'm like, like, that's the thing. That's just who I am. I don't think it is who you mm. are. That's fine. It's you, partially. Yeah, it's partially who I am, but mm. I didn't even think anything about it when I, when I wrote that. And now that you guys are telling me I'm wrong, now I'm questioning everything. I think that they're, <laughs> they're worried that it's the person who it will attract. That is their whole personality. Yeah. So, Riggins, well, maybe why don't you do my, po- my profile? Yeah, Adjust maybe, it. Uh, well, uh, no. Uh, well, I just tried to give you one small piece of advice. Maybe change the language on this one. Yeah, but I'm not going to say. You hit the roof. Well, because I said that sounds lame. What did you say? Huh? What did you say? Uh, I, I participate in like. What if did you, you have say? to put your, your illicit <laughs> drug activities in your bio? First of all, mm-hmm. you know. Yeah, my suggestion would be to maybe soften it up a little bit instead of just taking it out. You know, because you seem so tied in well, with this for some reason. Well, so, it's, so this lady just wrote in with a suggestion. I don't know if she wants to mention her name or not. Um, she said, just rearrange the wording, then uh, put, I also partake in smoking marijuana to chill. You're going to get scummy guys saying, yeah, like you said, if you say big ass blunt or fat ass blunt, you're going to get guys who are, that's the most important thing in their lives. Yeah, um, Cheddar Bob. That's who's going to be the guy from 8 Mile. Cheddar Bob. <laughs> you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to pick a different question, and we'll start over again. Hey, couldn't you put that you work on in a RV or whatever that sells this kind of stuff? Well, that's I why I thought that I was putting that on there, because it's part of my life. Like, I'm going to be in this life of... Whenever things get legalized here in North Carolina, like I'm going to work in a dispensary. I mean, I own a dispensary. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. That's but a you ba- can beat around but, the bush yeah. a little bit. <laughs> or since I'm just going to pick not, a different question. Yeah, this is too much, and I'm sweating. I'm like sweating so much right now. It's sweating. stressing me out. I'm getting stressed out. <laughs> yeah, you're you're stressed out. Your mustache sweating. <laughs> my mustache is. You see my mustache sweating. <laughs> this is bad. I got like under boob sweat. It's not good right now. <laughs> my head is pounding. My mustache yeah. is sweating. Why are you sweating? I don't get why you're so I don't, nervous. Because it this stresses me out. Talking about it? Mm. No, just the whole. Not talking to you guys about it. The whole thing of knowing what should I say? Is this right or is that right? Like having to think about all those things. Nothing is wrong. It's just. You know, you got to think about what that, what you put out there is what the universe is going to give you, you know? So this is a good <laughs> question. Really want that. So Stephanie said, um, like, what would you think, Alexis, if you saw that on a guy's profile? Would, I, that, would you be like, oh, yeah, that's, that's who I, I need to follow up with him? Yeah. yeah. I'd be like, oh, that's dope. He smokes okay. blunts like I do. Yeah. <laughs> I th- well, then I, I guess we're just wrong here. See that? No, that's what no. I'm saying. I just don't know how to do this. No, but I mean, and if he does, and y'all have that in common, um, 
you know, that's that's fine, but that shouldn't be the main attraction to each other. Of course not. Saying. But again, the question yeah. was, what is your simplest pleasure in life? So mm-hmm. I was answering that question. Right. It wasn't like, hey, what's your biggest goal in life? Or like, hey, what, you sure. know, what's your favorite activity to do? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. I get it. Yeah. But it, I'm going to change the question. Let's see. I'm going to see what else is on there. Uh, I, I'm not, again, I'm not saying this wrong. No, I'm, I'm, I even if you just put smoke advice. weed, yeah. it would be different. Because yeah. you know, wouldn't you want to attract like a doctor or like a banker? No. Because oh, you wouldn't. Mm-mm. Oh no. Okay. Right. A doctor maybe, you. but not huh? not really. Okay. Well, what kind of, that's that goes back to my original question. What kind of guy are you looking for? I do want a guy that is like either some type of entrepreneur, has multiple businesses. Okay. Does it matter what type of business? Yes, it matters. Like I wouldn't want to date a guy that owns strip club. Okay, that's a good one. Yeah. That's good. Um, but when you say you wouldn't necessarily want a banker or something like that, is that because I've, it's not I've edgy gone out on dates or? with bankers and I've gone out on a date with three bankers okay. in the last few years, and we just did not hit it off. All right, at all. Yeah, it was one of them smoked cigar in the car, right? No, that was not a banker. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> um. So yeah, what else? So somebody who's an, an entrepreneur. Entrepreneur who gives um, attention to mental health, who's self-aware mm-hmm. of their own things that they okay. need to work on. So there's another one. You meet a guy, and when you say pays attention to his mental health, that mm-hmm. is so uh, wide mm-hmm. of, a, uh, of a description. Does that mean he has to be in therapy or or open to going to therapy? Or what does it mean? I will say that I would prefer a guy that is open to therapy, even if he's not currently going. But if it, if he's open to it, I think everybody should go to therapy at okay. some point in their so life. So what point do you, would, would he decide that it was time to go to therapy? Would you decide that for him if y'all are together? Or no, I think that that would be based off of conversations we've had. I could tell like what his if he's open to it and how open is he. But I wouldn't okay. want to like tell him he, he needs to, do, to. But all he has to do is be pro yeah. therapy. Yeah. Okay. Which any guy can say that no matter what. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. I can also say a lot of things <laughs> that are not true. Right. Yeah. Okay. That's the risk I'm taking with this, isn't mm-hmm. it? That people can lie and say that they are someone yeah. on this app and they're really not. And that's what I'm trying to avoid being that person. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but then you talk to them before you meet them up. That's the, Again, that's kind of the... Do you talk to them on the phone? You can, but oh. no, most of it is done over text. Okay. Mm-hmm. If you want to FaceTime eventually before the meetup or whatever, you can. But And some <laughs> people get off on, you know, you know, bad choice of words, but some people enjoy just the connecting with guys or girls and then texting with them a little bit and then you know you realize it's not going to blossom into anything so you just dip right and that's uh, fair that's fine to do as well all right so the mental health thing is is part of that so the guy will not be um judgmental in any way about the mental um health stuff that you participate in with as uh you know therapy and um, the other things that you've done for your mental health, like the the, the sound bowl lady and the, the shaman visits and all of that kind of stuff? Or is it just mainly so he takes care of himself mentally? Yeah, it doesn't. I don't care what he thinks okay. about me. <laughs> all right. Well, then what? Okay, what then? And with that attitude, you're you're. You're not going to get as as many men interested when you let them know you don't care what they no, think about No, I'm not saying you. that I don't, I don't care what they think about me when it comes to the things that okay. I'm into as far as mental health or what I'm doing for that. Right. I don't if they think that it's weird or that I'm crazy because I'm mm-hmm. in therapy, that's not the type of person I want to be with anyways. Okay. And when I say that I I like a guy that is self-aware because I feel like if and I'm being super serious right now, but I'm working on myself to be a, a good the best version of myself and therefore be a good partner for someone else. Yeah. If that person that's not important to them, then we're not gonna mesh. So what if that person says, what if it's a guy and he goes, Yeah, I mean I, I'd be open to that, but I don't need therapy for anything. I don't need to talk to him. Really? We everybody needs therapy. And if you think that you're perfect and there's nothing wrong, then that's not a person I'll be around. Doesn't mean he thinks he's perfect. He may just think, "Hey, I don't need. I, I'm I'm happy in life." 
people like me. I'm, I've got a pretty content life, and I'm just looking to share that with somebody else. He has to be uh, in some sort of a state where he thinks that he needs therapy, or no, just open where he to thinks it. that he's uh, he's um, messed up in some kind of way. Just because you go to therapy doesn't mean you think you're messed up. But why would you go to therapy if you're content and you're happy and your things are going well for you in life and all of that? Well, who wakes up as that person and says, you know what? Everything's just really falling into place for me right now. I think I'm going to go to therapy. Because it helps you continue that happiness and continue evolving and finding things about you that you don't even know mm -hmm. you weren't happy about. That's what it's been to me. I'm a very happy person in life. I feel like I love my life. I love what I'm doing. Yet I still started therapy. Mm -hmm. And it's making it's my my quality of life is going up because of that. Okay, so then you think a guy needs to go to therapy whether he thinks he needs it or not. I think everyone should go to therapy. I'll okay. just put that out there. I All think right. everybody at some point in their life could benefit from therapy. Mm -hmm. And why is that? Because we all have issues that a lot of us haven't dealt with. We all have issues from our childhood that we're not even aware of and that they come out in our decision making when we're adults. And we don't even know that it's because of things that happened when we were kids. Mm. Okay. So you don't have the confidence in adults to be able to live their lives and make the right decisions unless they go to a third party to tell them how to do and why they're doing it and what what needs to be done no because i'm not going to tell a guy oh i'm not going to date you if you never gone to therapy that's not it but if that person is open and is interested in mental health and about and is self-aware that's different i'm not going to okay, ever make someone go to therapy things those are vague things that when when you're going to be the one that decides when he needs to go because no. you just said everybody needs to go yeah but i'm not going to so force someone to go Right, but if you're saying you got to be open to it, what does that mean? Okay, well, I'm open to it, but right now, and I don't see anything in the near future that's going to change it. I'm happy. I'm content. I don't need therapy. I don't see open like they're going to do it, but if I'm talking about, oh, yeah, I'm going to my therapy session today, or I'm going to go talk to my therapist, they, they are um, supportive of it. Okay, so yeah, so you do care about what they think when it comes to your your mental health and therapy and the things that you do. But not if I think they, they think I'm crazy because I'm going to it. <laughs> it's support. Like, oh, yeah, yeah. cool. That's great right. that you're okay. doing that. Okay. Well, that, that's all. then that's different. Then that's that's fine. Mm -hmm. I mean, if. But you look, can if tell. He's, but if he's if he's really cool and supportive of, of you being a cuckoo bird. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, you can tell I'm if a kidding. guy is into his mental health, too. I'm like kidding. what his everyday activities are, what his hobbies are. Is he working out? Is he eating mm. healthy? Is he aware? Like those things are important to me. Yeah. All right. Okay. That's all. But I, I, how this is going, I'm not going to have a match, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> I'm not going to have a boyfriend because well, yeah. I suck at it. <laughs> yeah, you got a bunch of matches. Yeah, that's not good. Yeah. You know, once they meet you, they might realize. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> and when they get their one phone call, they oh. might hook up with you. I heard you like smoke a fat ass blunts. I'd be like, I do. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let's right, you, smoke fat ass blunts in therapy. Yeah, you bring them for the first date. <laughs> <laughs> hey, miss any part of Share Funny? Subscribe to the podcast on all major podcast platforms. More Share Funny coming up. Now, better ingredients, better pizza means that each bite of every Papa John slice just keeps getting better. From that first bite you have to blow on to that second bite of crispy, crunchy toppings to that string of gooey, melty cheese. And just when you're thinking this cannot get any better, you get to the crust and you realize it's not just any crust. Oh, no. It's epic stuffed crust that's hand stuffed with cheese. Better ingredients, better pizza, even better when it's stuffed. Share Funny has its own Facebook group. To join, search Share Funny and get more. Now more Share Funny from the Ace and TJ family. Dun, 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 dun. Mm -mm. Yeah, I, I will say this. One, one more thing about this dating app deal. I can see where it would be difficult. Dude, it it's would so be, hard. It would be difficult. And I don't know if I'm built for it, honestly. Because yeah. you're tiny? Because <laughs> I'm tiny. <laughs> mm -hmm. But I'm going to give it a week. And if by next weekend I'm like still this stressed out about it and it's making me sweat, I'm deleting yeah. it. <laughs> Is how small you are on on there? Yeah. You mm -hmm. tell people definitely put that short? on there, and I didn't lie. I said I'm four ten. <laughs> <laughs> I'm four ten. <laughs> I am uh, four ten. Um, they did a big study on cussing, 
they said swearing, but I call it cussing because I'm Southern. <laughs> Uh, and they identified the top 10 big cities that, that cuss the most. Columbus, Ohio was number one. But I mean, I mean, is that really going to tell you anything? Like, oh, I'm not moving there because they cuss more there. Um, some of the other parts of the, the survey were pretty interesting. The place you're most likely to cuss is at home. Um, 24% said that while they're with their friends and uh, some said while they're driving uh, workplace is uh, work is the top place we, we want to cuss but don't and I'd like to thank y'all for that <laughs> <laughs> holding back your cuss words until we're finished with work Welcome. the number one person we cuss at is ourselves you know I think Ace skews this result mm-hmm mm -hmm. By cussing at himself more than yeah. most people do. The most universal things we make that make us want to uh, cuss uh, when we hurt ourselves, road rage, when you get bad news, cracking a joke, when we're arguing, and when we uh, get good news. You know, somebody tells you, oh, shit, that is great. No blanking way. F. Yeah. Uh, and the... Um, the favorite fill-in words to use instead of cussing are fudge, shoot, frick, or frickin'. That's a good. Those those are good ones. The people say that all the time, and I still think it sounds bad. Uh, crap, dang, heck, get the heck out of here. Get the heck out. Mm -hmm. Darn and darn it. Holy cow. <laughs> <laughs> what, cuss, what cuss word do you substitute uh, holy cow for? Holy cow? Um, dang or dang it. Um, and freaking. I say shiitake mushrooms. I'm like, oh, shiitake mushrooms. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think I've ever said fudge in my life. <laughs> what the no. fudge? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah. I'll tell you, you one that I do all that. the time, and, and y'all can y'all can verify this. Uh, instead of saying um, "what the hell," I'll say "what the H E double hockey sticks." Oh my gosh! <laughs> what the H E double hockey sticks was that? <laughs> I think I said that as a kid because a movie said it. I yeah. think, and I was like, "Oh, that's cool. I like that." Yeah, I've never said that, nor should any Southerner ever say "H E double hockey sticks." <laughs> H E double hockey. <laughs> what the H-E double hockey sticks? <laughs> You're going to end up right in the, down there burning in H-E double hockey sticks. <laughs> you little bastard. <laughs> no, they can't say bastard. That's a, also a bad word. Illegitimate child. Illegitimate child. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> I never say that word. Bastard. bastard? I tell my mom you that don't? all the time. I'm like, I'm a bastard. Oh. <laughs> See, I grew up thinking that that was um, only um, for a, a term for a son that didn't have any, like it, it was illegitimate. But it's for both, right? Yeah. Men and women, yeah. Yeah, I think so. Because in a Game of Thrones, child. they ask the bastard, the bastard children yeah. have that a last bastard. name. So I'm John a bastard. Snow. But I've never, like in anger, used it. No, oh, you're such a bastard. You bastard. Yeah, no, never. It's weird. I definitely Sorry, have. Sorry, ass. You have? I have yeah. for sure have called someone yeah, a bastard. bastard. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't even know how to use it. I don't know that I've ever called anybody to their face that. But I, I've used it describing someone. He is called, a sorry yeah. piece of shit bastard. Oh, okay. Uh, well, you put a cuss word in front of it. You, let me tell you what this stupid bastard did. <laughs> you know, really? Something like that. that. Yeah. yeah, for sure. Sorry ass bastard. He is a sorry, demonic bastard. Bastard. <laughs> My dad's definitely called me the son of a bitch before. Yeah. <laughs> really? Yeah, I always sound like, oh, hello, you're talking yeah, about your Yeah, that's wife. your wife. <laughs> I posted a video one time on my Instagram of him calling it. Me and my brother, sons of bitches, or something like that. <laughs> you son of a bitch. I got two. He was trying to, he had these VR goggles on. My brother got it for I Christmas. Remember that one. That was he great. goes, I got two minutes left. You, well, do something. Help me, you sons of, uh, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Calm down, Dad. Yeah, I I've never that. said that before, you son of a bitch. <laughs> you son of a bitch. <laughs> um, 
And do y'all remember when that uh, tiger attacked Roy on stage of Siegfried and Roy? Yeah. Do you remember that? Yeah. That was 19 years ago. Really? Yeah. And that was it. He was done after that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You remember his name, the tiger? Montecor. Montecor. Manticore. Oh. Montecor. Was it Montecor? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Lived in the house with him. Like, yeah, it was, it was one their of their bed. pets. Yeah, it was one of their pets. And they, I forget why they said they, they had reasons, like, why they thought it attacked of or whatever. Course, yeah. But still, it's like you're dealing with wild animals. Mm-hmm. Nearly killed them. Yeah. But um, but I think yeah. he ended up, um, like, that's what ultimately he ended up dying from the downhill struggle that he had after that attack. Yeah. From recovering? Yeah. Uh, yeah, he lived yeah. for years after that, but he was severely uh -huh. disfigured. He couldn't perform after that, could he? No. I, I think they ended the tiger I'm... show. Right. Mm -hmm. Like, was he not scared to be next to tigers after all that happened? I don't believe so. No. I think he saw it as like his mistake or something like that. Yeah. And I remember, you know, you weren't allowed to record it. So I think there was a video of it, but it was um, destroyed or never released. But they said the people in the audience were interviewed after and they said it was the scariest thing they've ever seen. How did they get the, um, how did they get him off of the guy? Did they remember. have to kill him? No. I don't no. think so. No. Siegfried was able to get him because they, they own the tiger. Right. And, and uh, they were, they were tiger tamers and he was able to get him to let go. Of it. And well, grabbed him here. Yeah. Or was there ever any type of, um, did they say that he was being mistreated and that that's why he turned no, on them? I don't think no. So. Wow. No. Because you know how they say that sometimes that after, like circus and stuff like that, that they turn because of years of mistreatment and stuff. You know, mm. I think they probably lived a great life. Yeah, for they what slept they, in. These tigers slept in the bed with them. Yeah. Uh, they were just like, you know, pampered uh, regular cats, house cats. Yeah. Some of them. White tigers. just snapped. Mm -hmm. That's what it was. Or it was a liger. Wasn't it a liger? That's no. probably why it did it. No, it was, it was a, 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 a white privileged tiger. White privileged tiger. <laughs> I know if Khaleesi was bigger than my cat, she would definitely attack me and eat me. Sure. Yeah. It wouldn't have to be much bigger than she <laughs> yeah, would have. It wouldn't. She a big cat. <laughs> You're right there at the line right now. <laughs> I know. I get scared. Trust me. There are days. She's just looking at me. That cat puts on two more pounds. You're done. She's like, mm, aren't you looking like a tasty treat? <laughs> like, I'm tired of breathing in all this weed smoke. <laughs> fixing to kill her. That she is. <laughs> she hates it. I got asthma and shit. <laughs> she stares at me judging my whole life. I wish she quit smoking these fat blunts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I wish she'd meet a nice guy who's not into this bullshit. Now I got, now I got two idiots <laughs> smoking two blondes yeah. in here. <laughs> so why you date a politician or something? Damn. Yeah. I changed my question. All right, shut up. What changed it? Don't worry about uh, it. Okay. <laughs> Poor cat. Like, need a double to smoke up in here. <laughs> God, I didn't know I was in a world full of people that just judge me all day long. Is, is that why? Is that why she's so big? She got the munchies too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I think that is cool, though. That you just you put it out there on that dating site. Just stuff that is the true you. Well, you I know, guess I'm like doing your it hobby, wrong. Your hobby being snacks. Yep. <laughs> That's one of my what are some of your hobbies? <laughs> Snacks. 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 TV. And they should know that I'm serious about my food and I've actually almost beat up people for eating my food. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's, that's a, a good, trigger. That's a good warning to put on. But, there. I will beat the shit out of you. <laughs> but you, you don't want to take up all of the conversation pieces in your profile. You got to leave something to talk to right. them about. Yeah, you know, because you can tell them to their face. They don't ever try to touch my food. Mm -hmm. Don't. Don't you dare. Mm -hmm. Speaking of, um, it's been a while since she's brought any fruit up in here for you, Riggins. Yeah. Oh, I know. I got to go food shopping today. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I've noticed. Yeah, I know you have. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, no, the thing is that I still have mangoes left, but I refuse. I refuse to come into this uh, studio with just mangoes because I do not want to hear it. <laughs> Your mango preparation leaves something to be desired. Yeah. Except for that say. I'm the first. You tried mangoes for the first time with me. Yeah. So how would you even know what the preparation is supposed to be yeah, like? I don't know, but I know the way you did it isn't right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's supposed to be completely peeled. Whatever. Yeah. You have never even gone mango picking. You're right. I don't know where the hell they grow mangoes. <laughs> I um, I try to choose fruits that I can eat the peel of it without it 
Sure. Without it being bad. There aren't many fruits that you can't mm. eat the peel. Pineapple, one of them. Yeah. But, but mango is one, right? People, Mang- some people eat the peel, which is so weird to me. Really? Yeah. I know monkeys do. Yeah, monkeys. I've seen monkeys eating mango. I love mangoes. Bananas. Mm-hmm. That's a fruit of my people's. But I eat pear like and uh, apples and all the old-fashioned way. Yeah. And I just bite into it. Oh, yeah. The whole thing. Oh, no. I sure. have to cut my apple. Yeah. Do I'll you? do the peel and everything, but I have to cut it. Yeah. Oh, I never cut an apple. Mm-hmm. Um, do you like pears and all the different variations? Well, I was just going to say, uh, I've usually only been a fan of the green pear. But the other day, Jody came in with some of those brown pears. Oh, good. And I said, well, I've never tried these. She goes, me either, but that's all they had. So they're very, very sweet. Mm-hmm. They're good. And they're like the texture of it is different. It really mm-hmm. is like a mixture between an apple and a pear. Yeah. And so yesterday I was in the store and I saw they had red pear. And I got one red pear to try. Mm-hmm. And I haven't tried it yet. So I bet that's good. Red pears are good. That's a good thing to put in your um, dating app bio. Introvert, but willing to talk about fruit. <laughs> 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 that would make me laugh. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, go for it. Mm. This is the Share Funny Podcast from the Ace and TJ family. More. One of the main things that we can do to make our homes stay comfortable is to make sure that there are no pests in the home. And the best way to do that is with our friends at Cardinal Environmental Solutions. Now, Cardinal Environmental Solutions has over 25 years of experience in the pest control industry. And the thing about it is, is that they are from this area. They serve the uh, entire greater Charlotte area, and they grew up here in Charlotte. They raise their families here in Charlotte. They understand the climate, the soil types, all of the various pests that invade our homes, uh, and they even deal with the bad mosquitoes that we have. So if you need someone to take care and make sure that your house is bug-free and rodent-free, then you need Cardinal Environmental Solutions. They're very easy to find. Just go to acetj.com slash cardinal, acetj.com slash cardinal, and start living pest-free today with Cardinal. This is the Share Funny Podcast from the Ace and TJ family. Let's go! <laughs> Uh, during the break, Alexis played us a little voice thing oh my God. from her profile. Or <laughs> thing, so. Play it. Yeah, can you play it on the? Uh, please hold up to the microphone. You guys are the worst. No. Oh. Yes, you are. But whatever, I don't care. <laughs> okay, here it goes. Honestly, Wait. The question is: the prompt is ask me anything about. Okay. Ask me anything about anything. I am literally an open book. Anything you want to know, I pretty much will answer. So, go crazy. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Ask me anything you want to know because I am literally an open book. What was the prompt? Literally. Um, ask, ask me, me anything. Any, ask me about. Yeah. So this. So, ask me anything about, and you go anything. anything. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, you can ask whatever. Because she is literally an open book. Volcanoes, elephants. <laughs> you know what you guys should do is like <laughs> literally. <Hobby bugs. laughs> yeah, I have pages. Oh my yeah. god. And a bookmark. Fireworks. Mm-hmm. Weeds. Anything. Ask me about pho. Ask yeah. me about pho. I would know all about it. <laughs> yeah, I think that when they put that prompt there for you to answer it, they want something specific. Yeah, but I want them to. I don't, yeah. I don't want to have to mm-hmm. like just limit it to yeah. just one thing. But it's supposed to. And like the only, you. but the, that's. I think that's fine. What you said about ask anything because you, you, you because you are a well-rounded person. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's just calling yourself literally an open book when you're technically not. How do not you know? I identify as an open no, book, no. so you can't tell me that I am or I'm not. <laughs> my pronouns are open and book. <laughs> exactly. Okay, my uh, house is a library. Are you paperback <laughs> or hardback? Hardback all the way, baby. We don't yeah. do none of that soft shit around here. That cheap paperback mm. bullshit. Yeah, we okay. don't do that. All right. Other girls might be paperback, but not me. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> hey. Riggins and Rob, how often do y'all um, sit down to pee? Never. At night, I will. Okay, when you 
You mean just like when the sun goes down or? Yeah. <laughs> sun down. <laughs> <When> you... <laughs> like if I have to go in the middle of the night. Yeah. Okay, I, so I you wake it. up, you go and sit down instead of trying to stand there yeah. sleepy. and all Well, that. mostly because I try to keep my eyes closed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, that makes sense. So I don't wake up any more than I need to. <laughs> You're just sitting down in the toilet uh -huh. with your eyes closed? Yeah. Yeah, because if you get your eye, you turn on the light, you're having to stand there and aim at the toilet, then you're getting more and more awake and may not be able to go back to sleep. I can get that. I can what? understand Never that. even occurred to me Never. to sit down. I can understand Well, that. I, yeah, in that part. Well, every few months, there seems to be some sort of a new study or some sort of an article about getting men to sit down to pee. Mm -hmm. And so um, there's a writer for lifehacker.com who has written uh, five reasons why men need to sit down to pee. Um, it's already, they say, a, a normal thing in uh, other countries like Japan. 70% of the guys sit down to pee. What? He says the um, the five main arguments are it's cleaner, even if you're accurate. Um, a 2013 study on the fluid dynamics of ura urination found there's a lot more splashback when you're standing. Number two, it involves the le it, it solves the left the seat up argument. Who cares? Number three, less noise because some people are self conscious about the noise they make, like a stream. Yeah. Um, number four, it leaves your options open. So that way, if you're peeing and you decide, well, you know what? While I'm sitting down here peeing, I might as well poop. That's, I swear that's what he means. That's what he's talking about. It's never happened. So how many times have you been standing at the toilet as a man peeing and then thought, uh-oh, I've got to poop and now I have no options? Never. I got to poop on the floor. <laughs> I mean, it's never been so sudden for me, but then uh -huh. I'm like, babe, I shit on the floor. What would uh, you have me but do? The, way, the way he's writing it here, it's just like, I sit down to pee, and I'm sitting there, huh, just in my thoughts, waiting for the pee to, to finish, and then I think, hmm, you know what? I might as well go ahead and poop while I'm sitting here. It's a big reason to change everything about That sucks that y'all can't culture. do that, though. Uh, and number five, it's really not that much slower to have to pull down your pants, sit down, pee, and then get back up, pull your pants back up and all that. You know what uh, this is. I, absolutely. That's what I was getting at. This is a con part of the constant uh, war on masculinity in our culture. You know, all the way to the way men pee, which is a a definitive um, difference between men and women. Men stand to pee. Women sit to pee. So what do we need to do? Get men to start s sitting down to pee. And it's, uh, it's at that to toxic masculinity. It's tear down the culture. It's... Whatever the norms in society are, we got to destroy those. And when a man is sitting to pee, then he is no longer masculine and toxic and dangerous. Yeah. That's what it is. Well, I don't want to see mm. a guy sitting down to pee. Uh, no woman does. I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> they can come out with all this bullshit they want about trying to get in it all. It's It's part of the... You know, tearing down of our unique American culture and, and norms so that they can rebuild the country in their own image, these these American Marxists. That's what it is. Yep. So what would you do if you walked in, Alexis, and you, you saw a guy your, it's happened. Yeah, sitting down to pee? It's happened. And then he wasn't drunk or something. Yeah. I, you know. It was a total turnoff for me. He does that all the time? No, it was then? a person that I was dating at the time. I know, and that's the way he always does it? Or no. you just saw him doing it once? That was the, and he wasn't drunk. It wasn't anything. It was just so I'm like, okay, is this how you pee all the time? And I just didn't know. Mm -hmm. It was such a turn And what did he say? No, he made up some dumb excuse or something. How you know he wasn't pooping? He wasn't. 
or he wasn't planning to. That's okay, well so maybe weird. he was. I don't know. All right, know. would you rather see your, would you rather see your guy sitting on the toilet peeing or sitting on the toilet pooping? I'd rather see him on the toilet pooping. I would yeah. rather the poop. You can't do that standing up. <laughs> and at least I'm not seeing it like actually. Mm. But yeah, I hated it. <laughs> and then he tried to like blame make he, up he, some weird he, excuse. Yeah, about he it. said it was he was doing something else. Mm. And is I was like, why better? are you doing that on the toilet? That's even more weird now. Now this has become even more weird. Yeah, that's like oh. the worst thing you could say. Yeah. Yeah, that made it that's mm. way worse. Exactly. That's what I said. That was the beginning of the end. <laughs> and then he ate your leftovers. <laughs> he ate my leftovers and I was like, that's it. Oh, is that same guy? Yeah. Oh. Uh, I saw you pee sitting down and now you're eating my effing leftovers, you son of a bitch. And I've had to pay for a tablet that you gave me. Exactly. <laughs> I mm. hate you. I'm leaving you because um, <laughs> making or or coercing men as a group in America to start sitting down to pee could there be any more emasculating thing? No, and it's so blatant. Yeah, it's so obvious. I hope hope the most most people see that for what it is. Yeah, and ladies, y'all got to stand up for it too. Not to pee, but stand up for. I, like, I can't do that <laughs> against this men sitting to pee. Yeah, everybody, all men stand up to pee. Mm -hmm. That's it. We're in America. Right. We right. pee <laughs> standing <laughs> up. Okay, That's where our forefathers <laughs> wanted. Yeah, uh -huh. you think George Washington was sitting down to pee? Yeah, hell no. No, he, he was not. Mm -hmm. You know, he was out there by that apple tree pe peeing. Yeah. Yeah. Pissing on the the Brits, mm -hmm. exactly. Or cherry tree, whatever. Or cherry tree. <laughs> cherry tree. <laughs> okay, whatever. Some type of fruit tree. <laughs> With wood teeth. The Share Funny Podcast is a production of the Ace and TJ family. To get more Ace and TJ twenty four seven, download the Ace and TJ app. Just search for Ace and TJ in your app store. Oh, no!